As the Berlin Wall crumbled, so too was the USSR's hold over Eastern Europe. With each brick being destroyed, democracy here was being born again. For 28 years, the wall ran through the city of Berlin, symbolizing the divide between East and West. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. On one side, there was East Germany with communism and the Soviet Union. On the other side, there was West Germany with capitalism and a booming economy. Built by the German Democratic Republic, or GDR, in 1961, the wall was meant to protect the Eastern Bloc from Western ideology. At 12 feet high, this concrete barrier, reinforced with barbed wire, spikes, metal gratings, and attack dogs, was a stark reminder of two different worlds and ideologies. Hundreds were killed trying to cross from East to West. When the wall came down in 1989, East Germans could finally enjoy freedom of speech, of movement, of being able to see their families. But unity here came at a cost. West Germany has spent trillions of dollars in rebuilding the East. Progress has been made. Since reunification in 1990, salaries are up, unemployment has fallen, and the economy is growing. But it can't compare to prosperity of the West. What was West Germany still holds the most powerful positions in government and business today. Out of 30 companies listed on the German stock exchange, none are based in East Germany. Today, people in the East still earn less than in the West, and the population is declining in the East, but growing in the West, where on average people live longer lives. It's no surprise the majority of people in the East feel reunification hasn't been successful. Das Problem ist doch the problem is that, in this country and in this parliament, it's always the West Germans who decide how the East Germans should deal with their past. Even Chancellor Angela Merkel, who grew up in East Germany, called unity a long road. Die deutsche Einheit ist nicht beendet, sondern sie fordert uns auch 28 Jahre später immer wieder heraus. Many Germans say that what happened after the fall of the Berlin Wall set the stage to what we're seeing now. A growing support in East Germany for non-traditional parties like the Alternative for Germany, or AFD. The AFD's message? Take care of the forgotten men of the East. They also want to ban the burqa, the Muslim call to prayer, and end migration. We werden sie jagen. Wir werden Frau Merkel oder wen auch immer jagen und wir werden uns unser Land und unser Volk zurückholen. Support for the AFD rose sharply after the migration crisis of 2015 when Germany opened its doors to over 1 million asylum seekers. Germany may have been reunited 30 years ago, but in a country where politics are still so polarized and people's wages are calculated based on their postcodes, is German reunification still unfinished business? Tierney Bonini, The Newsmakers.